Ten Ryan, it's an ongoing dispute between an elected official and his neighbor, a man with a lengthy criminal record. But police say if he had kept his cool, it would be the elected official who would have faced charges. Smith and Guadalupe Ayala are neighbors. The two live right across the street from each other on the 1700 block of Russell Lane in San Benito. But from time to time, Ayala's dog decides to pay his neighbor a visit. Apparently their canine had gone loose, gone to the neighbor's, uh, to Mr. Smith's house. And when he was out there, the animal apparently was causing some damage. But on Saturday, instead of Smith calling police, he decided to take matters into his own hands. Police say he confronted the wife of Justice of the Peace elect Guadalupe Ayala. Smith started cursing at her. She decided to call police. Two officers arrived at the scene and that's when the situation got worse. He got more upset when he was advised that he was going to be detained for a disorderly conduct incident. That's when Smith tried to go back home. That's when the officer ran and reached into the ignition, tried to turn it off, but unfortunately like I said, the vehicle was going at a fast pace, so he couldn't let go easily. Now, the officer lost his footing and Smith started dragging him for around 150 feet. Now, if you were to be dragged that much starting here, you would end all the way here, passing 18 parking spots. He was yelling at the driver to stop, to stop, you know, but the driver kept on going. When the car stopped, Smith was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct, aggravated assault on a public servant, resisting arrest, and evading arrest. It started with a simple disorderly conduct that quickly escalated into felony charges. Detective Rogelio Banda with San Benito Police says that if Smith would have kept his cool, the fine for disorderly conduct would have been at most $500. But now his bond is set at $90,000. Smith would have called police first. That would have been the one given a ticket for violating the leash law. In the meantime, the officer will be out for several days recovering from the injuries. Live in the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News.